Good evening, I'm Lena Hassanel. Welcome to BizWorld. Bank Nagara Malaysia's international reserves expanded to $116.7 billion as at November 30th from $116.5 billion as at November 15th. The central bank said the reserves position is sufficient to finance eight months of retained imports and its 1.3 times total short-term external debt. The main components of the international reserves were foreign currency reserves amounted $103.9 billion and IMF reserves position $1.4 billion. While special drawing rights amounted $6.1 billion and other reserve assets $3.1 billion. Capital and liabilities comprising paid-up capital amounted to 100 million ringgit and reserves 187.85 billion ringgit. The Malaysian economy is expected to grow at 3.7% this year and expanded further at 6% next year. According to MIDF research, this is mainly due to the reopening of the economy, leading to a better performance of the equity market. One of the drivers is, of course, earnings. We are expecting about 4%, 4.4% rise in earnings. And then uh, we also expect that valuation is going to be better. We have, we have seen how valuation have depressed this year. Next year, we expect it to revert back to the mean about 16.5 times. Hence, we're expecting uh, that the FBM KLCI to end the year at about 1,700 levels. He added this positive prospect will also result in ringgit gaining to 4.09 ringgit against US dollar next year from 4.23 presently. However, few headwinds may disrupt the economic growth, including the COVID-19 Omicron variant and inflationary pressures, as well as pullback in China's property and a possible 15th general election. The Entrepreneur Development and Cooperatives Ministry, MEDAC, has internal funds on top of what is allocated under its agencies to carry out its programs for entrepreneurs. Its minister, Tan Sri Noh Omar, said the focus is to uplift micro, small and medium entrepreneurs affected by the pandemic, newly minted entrepreneurs and digitalization amongst MSMEs. Jadi kita itu peruntukan yang kita dapat daripada kerajaan tahun depan. Tapi insyaallah kita juga ada dana dalaman yang mungkin kita akan gunakan untuk kita nak melaksanakan pakej-pakej yang telah kita rancang. He was met after the launch of Small and Medium Industries Development Expo (SMEDEX 2021) by the Prime Minister earlier today. 74 million ringgit has been allocated for SME Corp to implement six programs to help MSMEs revive, kickstart their businesses and gain access to the international market. The minister also said the intake of foreign workers to overcome the shortage of workers in MSMEs companies would depend on the success of SOPs for foreign workers in the plantation sector. Retail group Malaysia RGM is projecting a 6% growth in Malaysia's retail sales for 2022, as the country's retail industry looks forward to recovery from the impact of COVID-19 pandemic. In RGM's retail industry report for November 2021, the group, however, said few challenges remain for the nation's retail sector. It includes potential fourth-wave pandemic, which is haunting Malaysian retailers. The government has decided to delay the country's transition into the endemic phase due to the uncertainty over the new variant. And foreign tourist arrivals may be affected due to the current concern, thus affecting retail businesses that have been dependent on leisure travellers. Meanwhile, the recent spike in prices of many consumer goods may continue into next year. It also opined that the rising cost of living will affect the purchasing power of Malaysian households next year. That's all the time we have for BizWorld. I'm Lena Hassanel. Thank you for watching and keep tuning in to TV Tiga.